Check one. You may remember this man, William Arkin, who was a military analyst for NBC News and The Washington Post. Arkin wrote that U.S. troops in Iraq were mercenaries and said other demeaning things about them. Nobody at NBC News or The Washington Post really challenged Arkin for his outrageous opinion, but we did. Mr. Arkin, can we talk to you about some of the comments that you made? Um, can you leave me alone for just a second? Actually, no, we'd like to talk to you for a second. How could you say what you said? I mean, don't you think that was really hurtful and harmful to the military families? Well, now we have a similar situation. On January 21st, former U.S. intelligence analyst Russell Tice went on NBC's cable news network and said this. The National Security Agency had access to all Americans' communications, faxes, phone calls, um, and, and their, uh, their computer communications. Um, and that doesn't, it didn't matter whether you were in Kansas, you know, uh, in the middle of the country, and you never made any communication or any foreign communications at all. Um, they monitored all communications. Now, that would be illegal. And if true, a very frightening situation which could send those who ordered it to prison. So, of course, the factor wanted to know what evidence Mr. Tice has. Who exactly ordered what? NBC News didn't push him for any specific proof. No surprise there. So we respectfully called Tice, inviting him on the program. He said no. We found that strange. If you're trying to stop a wrongdoing, you get the word out, right? So we sent factor producer Jesse Waters to visit Russell Tice. Hey, Russell, how are you? We're with Fox News. want to ask you a few questions. You claiming the Bush administration spied on the media? Who exactly was spied on? I have no comment for you guys. I've already spoken. That's enough. But, I mean, you're going on national television and saying this. you got to say who it is. I've said what I'm going to say. That's it. That's enough. You guys are done. Come on, man. This is just unprofessional. you got to back up your accusations. Why aren't you in front of uh, Bush's abode there in Texas? Why aren't you there? I mean, apparently he's the one that, that uh, allowed this to happen. Why aren't you tracking him down? What exactly did you do? Good day, gentlemen. That's really disgraceful. You got to back it up your accusations, my man. Disgraceful? Disgraceful? Over, over that hill is an agency that spied on every f American in this country. I assume you can edit that out. That's disgraceful. Good day, gentlemen. Who told you this? What evidence do you have of these kind of things? We're just worried about the factor getting wiretapped. Well, the bottom line on this is that Tice made some very serious accusations. He went on NBC News, and he can't back them up. Now, if we're wrong, he can join us at any time. But if he can't back them up, he is disgraceful. And so is NBC News. I'm not a crook.